The polling will take place on 10th of 5 in single phase and day of counting would be 13th of May. So this is the schedule for the Karnataka elections. The Election Commission of India on Wednesday announced the dates of the Karnataka Assembly election. The polling will be held in a single phase on May 10th and the counting of votes will be conducted on May 13th, the Election Commission of India said in the announcement. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar along with Election Commissioners Anup Chandra Pandey and Arun Goyal addressed a press conference to announce the schedule for the Karnataka Legislative Assembly at Plenary Hall Vigyan Bhavan, New Delhi. All arrangements will be made at the polling station for the convenience of senior citizens and PWD workers. For the first time, a home voting facility is also there in Karnataka for 12.15 lakh, 80 years plus and 5.55 lakh benchmarked PWD voters, CEC Rajiv Kumar said. With the Karnataka Assembly polls during the EC also announced a vote from home facility for people who are over 80 years of age and those with disabilities. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar said for the first time the ECI is going to provide the facility to those above 80 years of age. Our teams will go there with a Form 12D to exercise their franchisee. Currently, around 5.21 crore registered voters in the state will exercise their franchisee during the elections, including 2.59 crore women. The latest report by the Election Commission reveals that there are 9.15 lakh first-time voters, over 4,500 transgender voters, over 12 lakh voters above 80 years of age, and 5.55 lakh differently abled voters. CEC Rajiv Kumar said that the urban apathy and misuse of money power are the two major issues in the state and appropriate initiatives are being taken in this regard. We have directed all the enforcement authorities on this, said the CEC. The poll panel said there will be 2,400 static surveillance teams to keep strict vigil and multiple agencies working in synergy and coordination. To ensure free, fair and inducement-free elections, the awareness and cooperation of citizens are key. Citizens can report any kind of electoral malpractices to the ECI through C Vigil app, the CEC added. The announcement comes amid a high-stakes political battle between the ruling BJP and the opposition Congress and Janta Dal Secular. The BJP, led by Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai, is seeking to retain power in the state, fending off allegations of corruption and communal polarization. The election will also test the popularity of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his party's policies at the national and state level. The last assembly election in Karnataka was held in May 2018, which resulted in a hung assembly. The BJP emerged as the single largest party with 104 seats but fell short of a majority. The Congress and the JDS formed a post-poll coalition with 80 and 37 seats respectively and formed the government with Mr. Kumaraswamy as the chief minister. However, in July 2019, the coalition collapsed after several MLAs resigned from the parties and joined the BJP. The BJP then formed the government with B.S. Yadiyurappa as the chief minister. He resigned in July 2021 and was replaced by Mr. Bumai.